the harrowing Nürburgring circuit, considered by most drivers to be the toughest and most demanding in the world, is described by the best possible guide in the world, Jackie Stewart. So we're going down this wooded section, this funnel almost in the forest, and you're going around in fourth gear, very, very quick indeed. This is an area where you can lose a lot of time. You can, of course, gain a lot because here you've got to be very clean. You come in here to this particular corner, you're braking quite hard into third gear. You can go through here in third gear if everything's right. Now, in full tanks, you might go through in second. But again, you've got to be clean because if you get it on the wrong line on this first bend here, you're going to lose this whole series. Here you see yourself going through what is really a cutting in a heavily valid area with trees. Now, can, can you think of going down here at 175 where the car bottoms out and it grunches the suspension, the chassis really gets gouged? You're going up here with so much G-forces on that you can't take your foot off the throttle and get it onto the brake. Every time I see this, it frightens me, because there's no barriers on the right-hand side, there's just a rock face and trees. You've got a left-hand side barrier, but that's not where you're going to go off the road. I think if I were to walk around them, I would be horrified. I would never drive around the place again. So the faster you drive around the ring, the less you know, and maybe that's the best thing to do. You're approaching the famous carousel, and if you look forward, you see the high fir tree. Now, we aim the car at that high fir tree, and if I put this car on the line for the fir tree, I go exactly into the bowl of the carousel. And there you are, into this bowl. It's a second gear corner. You're accelerating round this corner. Out you come. The car lifts itself out the bowl. If you come out too early, the car will just fly straight over to the barrier. The whole surface of the Nürburgring is never even, you know, it's never totally flat. You're sort of, if the left hand of the side of the road is up, the right hand side's down. The whole car is pitching and tossing all the time. And the car is working terribly hard in its suspension. It's a, it's a horrible compromise for the designer. The Nürburgring is it's like riding a bucking bronco. It's, it's like a rodeo. Because whatever you do to a racing car, you never seem to be able to have everything working as one. The hedges at the Nürburgring are worrisome. The marshals seem to hide behind the hedges. And in fact, here you've got no barriers at all. You're just going down this sort of chute that looks like uh, a bowling alley, really. And you're going down here, the car's bumping and diving all the way along here because, again, the car is either going down and bottoming on a, you know, on a deep sort of gouge in the road or it's half leaving the road in some of the little humpback sections of the main street. For a quick lap at the Nürburgring, you've probably experienced more in seven minutes and six or seven seconds than most people have experienced in all their life as the way of fear and the way of, of tension and the way of animosity towards machinery and to a racetrack. 